And we're back for another episode of Three Floating Fight Night, our classic constructed game series. Today we are back in the arena for a second clash. Today, featuring Aiden on Betsy. Who? And Sam on Olympia! Yeah. Stick around to the end of the video for details about a giveaway brought to you by The Realm Games. Gotta thank The Realm Games, our incredible sponsor. I know you want heavy hitter singles, so go check out their store in the description. Also, it's time to build decks, and where better to find deck building resources than fabric.gg. Fabric. Bars, bars. <laughs> Fabric is going to be all of your best strategy, content, and deck building resources. And also got to thank Legend Story Studios for helping make all this heavy hitters content possible. So without further ado, let's get into this classic constructed game! Three floating. Round two. Fight! In the arena. <laughs> Guardian warrior matchup. These two hang out in the arena. They from here. What's up? We're from here. Are right, you ready to roll? Yeah. Seven. All right. Eight. I will go first. Okay, you got overpower on your hero. Good luck, have fun. We're back and we're here to bet with Betsy. Skin in the game. I'm super excited to play this hero. I really wasn't sure what to do until I saw on Twitter one of my favorite channels, the Teclo Foundry, putting up this list that he was brewing up on Betsy. I got in contact with him, got his Betsy list, which is all about good time chapeau. I'm here to create gold. I'm here to overpower wagers, swing Anathos for 10 overpower super easily, wagering tokens, and snowball constant gold and vigors into just super hyper efficient hands and hopefully run away with this game. Welcome back to Three Floating. Today, I am so excited to play Olympia, the prized fighter. This is my first time playing warrior in my life, so you know I had to bring out the hatchets. The hatchet of body and the hatchet of mind. Here's the game plan. This deck is incredibly fun. Olympia is incredibly sick. Every single time that I win a wager, which is a new mechanic in heavy hitters, I get to create a gold token on top of whatever I've already wagered with. So here's the game plan. I wanna win a bunch of wagers. I wanna chip damage through with a bunch of attack reactions, some of which are very cool and very new. Get through his armor. And then once I've done so and extracted all my value from my equipment, from my wagers, from my tokens, I wanna finish the game with some evasive damage, coupling up either double Double down or spill blood with some powerful pumps and attack reactions to get over the top and close the game out. That's the game plan. Aiden's on a very scary new Betsy list, got a lot of on hits, so I know I'm gonna have to do a good job of blocking, have to pick the exact right spots to block with my equipment, and hopefully get literally like 1 million points of value out of Valiant Dynamo. Let's get it. I'm going to pitch into tectonic plating, making a seismic surge. I will move to end. End is good. Arsenal. I'm gonna start off by playing cash in because I have in my hand two of them <laughs> pitching <laughs> this. So going second against Betsy is very scary because any hero that has dominate or overpower or evasive damage on turn zero is not what you wanna see. But luckily Aiden doesn't throw any of those kind of effects at me, but he also doesn't filter me at all. So I'm stuck with these two cash ins in my hand with no gold. So might as well just play one of them, put one to the bottom of the deck, draw a couple fresh new cards and see how we can cobble together as good a turn as I can from here. I will draw two cards. I draw two blues. Starting off strong. I'm going to play Edge Ahead. My next warrior attack this turn gets plus three, and when this attacks a hero, you may wager an agility token with them. I will attack you with the Hatchet of Body. It's gonna get bumped up to five from the Edge Ahead. Go ahead and wager, for the first time this game, an agility token. So when this chain link resolves, if this attack hits, I get an agility. If you block me out, you get an agility. And of course, Olympia says the first time each of my attacks wins a wager, I also get a gold. I will block two with my good time chapeau. Okay. Two block temper. Okay, no reactions. I have a reaction. I will sink below. I will not sink. Okay, so you're currently blocking six. 
I will now react and play out and up the ante, the Olympia specialization. I get to choose X plus one, where X is however much I pay. So I'm gonna pay two, so I get to do three of these things. Wager an agility, wager a gold, wager a vigor, or give the attack plus Y, where Y is the number of times it has wagered. So I'm going to wager a gold, a vigor, and give it plus Y, where Y is the number of times it has wagered. So it wagered once from this edge ahead, two times from up the ante, so it's gonna go up to an attack for eight. For sure. <laughs> I mean, I got skin in the game. I have no reactions. Take two. Take two. Do you know what that means? You won the wager. I have won the wager! So, let's go ahead and resolve this chain link as I move to the end step here. Upon the chain link resolution, I get an agility from the edge ahead. And then I get a vigor and I get a gold. I have so many things, I don't even know where to put them. And then Olympia says the first time each of my attacks wins a wager, I get to create a gold token. So I will have a second gold token as a result of winning the wager. Good? That is very good for you. That's what I call a first wager. Go ahead and draw four and pass to you. Whew. Okay, we are starting this game off with a banger of a turn here, folks. One of those two blues I drew was the brand new Olympia Specialization up the ante, and this card was insane here. The amount of value I get off this attack reaction is nuts. Getting two additional wagers on this just like little hatchet for five, all of a sudden, not only do I get a couple points of damage through, I won three wagers. I'm starting my next turn with agility, with vigor, and I have two gold to power up all of the rest of my turns in this game for cash in, for drawing a card if I'm just stuck with a bunch of blues. This was like, oh my God, couldn't have gone any better. Start of my turn, Seismic Surge pops. At the beginning of my action phase, destroy Seismic Surge, the next Guardian Attack action card I play this turn costs one less to play. We're not gonna get to use it though. I will ask you to put your money where your mouth is. Mm. Float two. Mm -hmm. The next attack this turn gets plus three, and when this attacks a hero, I may wager a gold token. I think he meant to say, You're gonna have to put your money where your mouth is. Yes. <laughs> Swing on in with Anathos, big ol' hammer. I will wager a gold token, and Betsy says, whenever an attack action I control wagers, I may pay two resources. If I do, the attack gains plus one and overpower, so I will pay two. This is now Anathos for three, nine, because I have two cards with cost three or greater in my pitch zone, plus one for a total of 10 overpower on hit gold. Can you block it? Money where your mouth is, two blues, a hammer. This is exactly the game plan. This is a three card 10, evasive damage with the overpower and threatens a gold. And once I get one of these, I can steamroll them into more and more tokens. As soon as I can start chipping through that huge fridge that is sitting on his side of the table, these wagers become way more dangerous and really open up a way for me to win. So overpower says I can't defend with more than one action card, yes? Yes. So I will block with Take the Upper Hand, which is a new attack reaction. I will block with Iron Song Response, which is a new card. And by, no. new, by new, I do mean, by new, I do mean <laughs> a card from 2019. Um, First set. <laughs> it's brand new to me as a fresh warrior player. Yeah, I'll give you two of my two block armors. All right. So this is three, six, plus four is a total of 10. This headpiece is the prized Galea. It's an Olympia specialization. It has an attack reaction where I can pay one to make target weapon attack wager a gold, but it also has temper two, and I would like your gold. I mean, I told you put your money where your mouth is, so. Thank there you very you much. Thank you very much. You may have it. Move to end. Arsenal. End of your turn, my prized Galea and my Brave Forge Bracers will get a minus one defense counter. Draw back to my intellect. He's got so many attack reactions. A warrior is kind of the kryptonite to my Betsy overpower plan. Not only am I gonna have to chew through this equipment fridge, but I'm also going to have to catch him on a turn where he doesn't just have all these reaction and is taking this gold from me. Start a turn. My agility and my vigor both pop. So my next attack this turn gets go again, and I start the turn with a resource. I will then go ahead and use that resource to attack you with the hatchet of body. It's coming in for two with go again, thanks to the agility token. I will block two using my civic steps, which will give you a quicken token. 
thank you. So next time I attack with a weapon, I'll destroy quick and then the attack gets go again, huh? Yes. What I'm gonna do next is play Commanding Performance, which is a new card here in Heavy Hitters. My next warrior attack this turn gets plus three, and until the end of turn, my warrior attacks get, when this is defended by one or more attack action cards, destroy a card in the defending hero's arsenal. I will then go ahead and attack you with this Hatchet of Mind. Popping the Quicken. Popping the Quicken. Because Hatchet of Body was the last attack this turn, it's gonna get plus one until the end of turn. Commanding Performance is gonna give it plus three, so this is going to be an attack for six. I will block with this Terra Sunder for three. Take three. All right, a weapon I control has hit, so I'm gonna go ahead and activate the Grains of Blood Spill to pay one, and I will create a Vigor Token. Commanding performance, super tough here. What, like, <laughs> threatening my arsenal? Terror Sunder is really, really good. I don't wanna blow up my arsenal, and it's my only non-attack action, so it's, it's blocking, it's giving me life. Hopefully that sustains me to get to the pub and party when I'm winning. All right, on my turn, I'm going to play a Terra Sunder, and then I am going to hit you with the good old Guardian Classic. Seven, dominate, on hit, discard two cards. I was all stoked that I got rid of one of your Terra Sunders, and then you just... Hey, I mean, I was going to do it two turns in a while, so... <laughs> all right, I'm going to go ahead and block three. Okay. And only block three. Any reactions? No reactions. No reactions from me. Take four. Discard two cards from the Terrace Under, please. I will discard an Out for Blood and a Hold'em. I will move to end Arsenal. Pass back to you. Okay, that's not fair. Can't immediately play Terrace Under after blocking with it. I feel like there's a rule against that. Terra Sunder is an incredibly powerful effect. I do not want to discard two cards here at all. But if I give up my equipment, it's going to make it way harder for me to block out his overpowered wagers later in the game. And the thing about wagers, if I block out a wager, I actually win the wager and get the additional resources and power. If I block out a Terra Sunder, I just don't discard cards, which of course, is sim is very good. I don't I don't want to lose my cards, but his whole deck is built around wagering. It's a build around overpower. I think I want to save my equipment and lose two cards. He's eating the Terra Sunder, discarding two cards, super great. I do now have an open arsenal, which I can land this CNC in, which is amazing, because then if I draw one of my wagering pumps, I can pitch a blue and wager a CNC. So setting up for really great stuff in the future. Two Terra Sunders out of the deck. At the start of the turn, the Vigor pops, and I get a resource, which I will use to attack you with the Hatchet of Body, coming in for two. Block three with a thunk. I will go ahead and then play out a glint the quicksilver to give target weapon attack go again. It has reprise. If the defending hero has defended with a card from their hand, this chain link, I will draw a card. I will then be really sad I didn't block with Valiant Dynamo because I could have gotten the counter off. I will then go ahead and break one of my gold tokens. Pay two to destroy this and draw a card. I will then attack you with the Hatchet of Mind. Thanks to it following the Hatchet of Body, it gets plus one, so it's coming in for three. So I think I blocked on the wrong one. <laughs> I will say no blocks on the Hatchet of Mind and take it straight to the dome. Do you have any reactions? I have no reactions. You may take three. I'm trying to figure out if I wanted to arsenal this card or not. I don't think I do. I will pitch one into the Grains of Blood Spill. Go ahead and make another Vigor. And then it is your turn. This Glint the Quicksilver sucks. I blocked because I didn't want him to pitch to Grains of Blood Spill and not end on Arsenal. Now, not only is he not ending on Arsenal, but I also let him draw a card and threw another thing. The CNC's gonna have to wait for later until he's back on Arsenal. Once more. No. I will ask you. Okay. <laughs> to put your money where your mouth is. For sure. Pitch to Anathos and Betsy Wager. So we are coming in for 10 overpower wagering a gold token. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> <laughs> Three card, just 10 overpower. Yeah. Give me a gold. You keep catching me in these hands where I have like multiple attack reactions. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Overpower is not as strong as Domine. It's not as strong as Domine, you know, but do Domine. Domine. Us warrior players, guys. <laughs> the question is like, do I just... Give me a gold. Aren't they so good for you? So I'm definitely going to give you the dynamo. I want to see what you can do. Okay. I'm going to block one. Okay, take nine. Take nine. Go to 27. 
That's what we call a good bet. Make a gold. Bigger pops, get a resource. With that resource, I will attack you with the hatchet of body. For simple measly two. Four cards in your hand? Four cards in my hand. No blocks? I will react with a glint the quicksilver. <laughs> <laughs> so you take two? Uh, yes, I will take two, down to 30. All right, I will then pay into the grains of blood spill to go ahead and make a bigger token. Then I will play lead with speed to so close the chain. Mm -hmm. My next warrior or brute attack this turn gets plus three. Don't worry, I'm not playing any brute attack. Right. That would be cheating. I will create an agility token as well. Next turn, I'll get go again, and then I'll spend one on a hatchet of mind. Coming in for six. Dude, come on, it's six. Oh, six. Six damage. I will block three of it. Take three. One, two, three, down to 27. Alrighty. I will just move to end. When I do so, my Valiant Dynamo will yeet that minus one counter off of there. Okay. Took a lot of damage last turn and let Aiden develop a gold because I really wanted to play this lead with speed. It's a card I'm super high on. I know it only blocks two. I think most people are playing Spoils of War in this slot in the lists I've seen, but I just think agility tokens are so strong in Warrior and just in general. I don't want to worry about Go Again on my future turns. I want to just chain agilities together and spend my resources on attack reactions and my grains of blood spill. So I wanted to start that train, took a bunch of damage, let him get a gold, but I think I'm setting myself up well for the rest of the game. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to tear asunder and swing in with Anathos. This is seven, dominate, on hit, discard two of your cards. Tough, dude. This is me tearing asunder. Yeah! Feeling good, Mr. Terrasunder? It's a good card. Oh, enough with the Terrasunder! I took nine so I could develop an agility and then get hit with the Terrasunder and four red cards in my hand, which is just like, I'm feeling like a fool for taking all that damage. So I have to figure out a way to maximize the value on this turn. And I am just so deep in the tank right now because I drew my Nourishing Emptiness, which is a one-up. It's a way to force damage through, get five intellect. It's something I really want to do, but I'm staring at his equipment. I'm realizing if I go for it, he's just going to block it every time. Yes, I chew through his armor, but I just don't feel like that's an exchange that I'm willing to make. So again, this feels terrible, but I feel like I want to save my armor for his wagers. So I think I'm going to discard two again and really prioritize getting value off the Valiant Dynamo, off the Agility token, and the Vigor token that I worked so hard to create. I don't want those to just be for nothing by throwing a Nourishing Emptiness. And if I pitch the Nourishing Emptiness, I can maybe have it later as a win condition and just sneaky get dominate if we get to second cycle, so time to discard. I saw it, dude. Do you know how to get to the arena? Oh yeah, like, like heavy hitters? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, but uh, that's gonna cost you something. Let's work. Go speak to my brother Bargle. He's by the lake. Hargle sent me. Ah, so you wish to go to the arena? Yeah, yes, just something with a good view. Oh, you will be very close. Yeah, you know that, that's perfect, but, yeah. But, but, money talks. Really? I mean, All right, but first you must speak to another, my brother, Dargle. Tell him Bargle and Hargle have given you their word of passage. Hargle and Bargle granted me peace. I know what you say, but first, the payment. Come with me. Finally. All right. This is where I live. Try not to die. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 where are you going? You'll be needing this. Dude, what are you doing down here? I wanted to get heavy hitters. My child, there's no need to fear. The Realm Games can help you with your quest to get any of those flesh and blood cards you need and support an LGS. The arena beckons you. 
join their incredible tournaments at the Realm Games. And you can compete for Realm Games. Prizes beyond your wildest dreams of the greatest tournaments in the land. Huzzah! Buddy, you can't be out here getting hargle bargle and dargled. <laughs> It's not working! I can't build the perfect deck! I got it! Guys, I have an idea. The ultimate flesh and blood website, where you can find synthesized data from decklists from all over the world, and you can see which cards are played the most in each hero. Articles written by the best pro players in the game. Your deck building ideas, your strategic ideas can be realized in flesh. In blood. Well, Jacob, we got great news. That all exists, dude, at fabrec.gg. Oh, that's incredible news. Go to fabrec.gg and level up your game. Today. Today. Want to block three, four. Never ending dynamo. Never ending dynamo for show. Take three. <laughs> okay. Discard two cards. We'll discard a take the upper hand and a spill blood. Ooh. That is the end of my turn. My dynamos will get a minus one counter. I'm sure they'll never get it back. Vigor and agility both pop. I'll go ahead and get a resource and my next attack will get go again. I will spend the resource immediately on the hatchet of body. So this is coming in for two. No blocks on the two. Take two. Taking two. Okay. I will then go ahead and pitch this Nourishing Emptiness to attack you with the Hatchet of Mind. This one's coming in for three. I will block three with a Debilitate. All right, at the end of the turn, my Valiant Dynamos will remove the counter and I'll pass back to you. One, two, three, four. At the start of my turn, nothing happens, but I will <laughs> pitch this Thunk into the Tectonic Plating to create a Seismic Surge float two. And then for the third and final time this game, I will ask you to put your money where your mouth is, then swing at you with a C and C, and I will wager a gold and I will Betsy. So this is a C and C for 10 overpower, wagering another gold. Another gold. On hit, destroy your arsenal. The sights are locked. Arsenal has been planted. Wager acquired, C and C. It's go time. Let's see, we're gonna go one, two, three, with the shift the tide of battle, attack reaction, four, five, money where your mouth is. Here comes the fridge. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Block with the rest of it. <laughs> Block 10. Get your gold. <laughs> Frick. All right. I've been holding this fridge, I've been holding this equipment all game, a wagered CNC that also makes a gold. I just, I just simply can't let hit. I can't lose my arsenal. I can't let him get a gold. I have to throw the farm in front of this. Prize Galia, thank you for your service. I'm not gonna get to wager with you. You're gonna stop this Command and Conquer from destroying my arsenal and getting him a gold. I will get a third gold. All these things though, for the rest of the game, if you wanna bet big, it's probably gonna work out for you. My prize Galia is gonna get destroyed thanks to its temper. I'm gonna go to minus two. I'm gonna go to minus one. I'm gonna go to minus one. And I'm gonna go to four cards for my hand. Pass to you. Okay. I will cash in. Ooh. I will choose to destroy one gold as a cost to play rather than its resource cost. So I will go ahead and draw two cards. Mm. All right. Lead with speed. My next Brutal Warrior attack this turn gets plus three. I will create an agility token. I will spend one more on the Hatchet of Body. So thanks to the buff up from the lead with speed, this attack is gonna come in for five. Go again? Nope, I'm, I'm making a costume change. You ready? Uh, Too hot. Uh, 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 so much better! No blocks. Okay, I will react with a Blade Flurry, give target weapon attack plus two. And my next weapon attack this turn would also get plus two. Zero for four on an attack react. So this now becomes an attack for seven. I got no reactions. Okay, I have no further reactions, so you take seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will then pay one into the grains of blood spill to make me a uh, ye old vigor. Then I will pass to you. Sadly, this Blade Flurry right now is actually just a zero for two because I did not have the go again. Seismic Surge pops at the start of my turn. 
I'm going to start things off with using the ability on my good time chapeau. I had a feeling. Action, destroy a gold I control. My next attack this turn gets, when this hits a hero, wager a might and a vigor with them. So it works for the hammer, and it works for what I am about to do. <laughs> Spinal Crush. I am going to pitch one, two, three, four, float two, thanks to the seismic surge. And then I will pay the remaining two to Betsy because I am wagering a vigor and a might. So this is coming in for 10, overpower. Wagering, vigor and a might. Spinal Crush has a crush effect that says, if this deals four or more damage, attacks you control, lose and can't gain, go again. Okay, Spinal Crush is, is, is brutal here. This is a huge moment for me. I can totally not get crushed and keep cards in my hand. Try to really clap back, but the amount of value that I get from denying him those tokens and taking the tokens myself on my end just feels like so huge. If I have the option to take those tokens for myself, I feel like I just have to win this wager. I'm supposed to win wagers. That's my whole thing. Grains of blood spill. Thank you for your service. You have been so good this game, but I need you to block out this wager. This prize is mine. I'm going to block with this Iron Song response. Attack react. I'm going to block with this with the Quick Attack react. Yep. I'm going to block with this Blue Edge Ahead. You can only block with one of those. The actions? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I will then finally put in front of this my Grains of Blood Spill. So I'm going to block for 10. That's clean. That does it. I have no reactions. So you win this wager. You may have a Might and a Vigor. Thank you. I will. Arsenal and pass to you. Spinal's a crazy card. Spinal for 10 with overpower is even crazier. Seeing him put his grains of blood still on this chain link just brings such joy to my face. We're finally. <laughs> I'm finally seeing him put equipment onto the chain, which is exactly what I wanted with this. Spinal Crush is not only huge damage, but it also affects to completely nullify everything he did with that setup turn with the agility token. So this is beautiful, and I want that equipment gone. I want it gone. Get it, get it out of here. Take, take it away. Put it, put it back in the closet, and 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 retire. You're not the prized fighter anymore. It's Betsy time. I got four things triggering at the start of this turn. Two vigors, one might, one agility. So I have two floating. I'm gonna go ahead and attack you with the hatchet of body. It has go again thanks to the agility token. It also gets plus one thanks to the might token. So this is coming in for three. I will block three here and give you the quicken the quicken you got it i don't need this quicken because i will immediately attack you with the hatchet of might for three of might of mind <laughs> this is the hatchet of mind yeah thank you save me <laughs> <laughs> i, know, I was, save I was me. like i gotta bail him out <laughs> i will block this hatchet for three with a choke slam i will pass on reactions Right. One counter off the Valiant Dynamo. My Civic Steps have temper, so they are gone. I only draw three cards, one card left in hand. Feels great, baby. Pass to you. Okay, 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 okay. We're going to start this turn by pitching into the tectonic plating that I am wearing, which will make me a new Seismic Surge. And then I will pitch another blue to pay five. Swinging a Disable. Crush, if Disable deals four or more damage to a hero, put a card from their arsenal on the bottom of their deck. For sure. I will go ahead and block one with the Dynamo and three with the Take the Upper Hand. So I will block for a total of four. Take three. Take three. No Crush. No Crush, thank you. I will. No, thank you very much. Arsenal. Pass back to you. I'm gonna go ahead and start things off with a Hold'em. My next warrior attack this turn gets plus three, and when this attacks a hero, you may wager a vigor token with them. I will then go ahead and I will double down. I may destroy a gold I control, which I will do, rather than pay double down's resource cost. The next attack that wagers this turn gets plus three and overpower, and if a hero would create one or more tokens as a result of a wager this turn, instead they create that many plus one of those tokens instead. So I will now attack you with this hatchet of body. Coming in for three from the hold'em, three from the double down, because I'm going to wager a vigor token, eight, with 
overpower. If it hits, I get two vigor, and thanks to Olympia, I would also get one gold. You said overpower. Yep. So I will only block with one of these, but I will also give you my Gauntlets of Iron Will, the new Guardian Legendary Arms. Two block temper when this defends. The next time an attack would gain power this chain link, it gains that much minus one. I'm also going to give you my tech plate. So I am blocking five, six, any reactions from you? No reactions. I will do a sink below going to 10. I will sink a card blocking 10. Look at that. You found your sink below on the perfect turn. Okay, blocking me out. I am still going to go ahead and play out a shift the tide of battle. This attack has power greater than its base, so it gets go again. And the next time an opposing hero is dealt damage this turn, I create an agility token, but it will not get any more power. Which is actually sick because if I had a plus three, exactly the, gauntlets, the gauntlets, the gauntlets, it's still different. perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't have it. Uh, so you still block me out. Make your two vigors. All right. This guy's been taking my wagers this whole game. It's time for me to take something from him. He's putting two vigors on the stack. There's nothing I like more as a guardian than some free resources. I've got a sink below an arsenal and these new gauntlets, which basically ensures that I'm gonna win this wager. With that last card in his hand, which I'm thinking is a three pump, it's gonna reduce that to a two pump, which will get cleanly blocked by my 10, and then we get some vigors, which will help me continue to play this really crazy value game that this Betsy list gets to play. Bigger. I'm then gonna spend my one floating because now I have go again on a hatchet of mine. This is coming in for three. That's my last floating. I will block three with a boulder drop. You got it. I will pass to you. My Valiant Dynamos will return to me happily. Tech Plate sticks around because it's goaded with the Battle Worn. And you get a minus one counter on those gauntlets, baby. Because they have temper. Start of turn, double vigor, floats two. Start of turn, seismic. Next guardian attack action costs one less. I'm just gonna play this boulder drop for free. So this is five when this deals four or more damage to a hero. Put a card from their hand on top of their deck. All right, I will block for a total of five. All right, I will arsenal. My turn is simple. I am simply attacking you with the hatchet of body for two. No blocks on two. Take two, no reactions. Pass to you. Pitch and make a seismic with a double down, sad face. Pitch an E-strike and a thunderquake to buckling blow for six. If it deals four or more, I'll put a minus one counter on the equipment you control. I will say no blocks. No reactions? No reactions. One, two, three, four, five, six. I will take six out of 15. Minus one on those dynamos. You got it. I will arsenal. We, we found it. A super ass turn. <laughs> I have an E-Strike, which is great to push some damage, but my E-Strike would just be E-Strike Hammer, and he can deal with nine damage easily. But I win this game by snowballing token wagers on overpower, especially because he's off equipment now. So we're gonna open up our arsenal, set up, create a seismic surge, which will allow me to play this bet big off of one blue and go crazy. I will go ahead and commanding performance. Your next warrior attack this turn gets plus three. Until end of turn, your warrior attacks get, when this is defended by one or more attack action cards, destroy a card in the defending hero's arsenal. So I will then go ahead and attack you with the hatchet of body. For five, if you defend with an attack action card, we destroy your arsenal. I'm gonna block one. Five. Test, of Test of strength! Strength. When this defends, clash with the attacking hero. Winner creates a gold. I will create a gold. Revealing the CNC money. So you're currently blocking for five. I will go ahead and react with a blade runner. All right. Attack gets go again. My next weapon attack this turn gets plus three. I actually will continue to react because my attack needs to hit. So I will go ahead and use a blade flurry here. Oof. This is gonna give target weapon attack plus two and my next weapon attack this turn is also gonna get plus two. But your gauntlets of iron will are gonna come in and do a little bit of blocking. So currently bumping it up only to six. I've got no reactions. Take one. Taking one. Down to 15. Then this is supposed to be a blue iron song response. I just, for the life of me, couldn't find one. But again, I actually don't even think it matters. <laughs> so this will go ahead and pitch into the Brave Forge Bracers, which will break the chain. That will say goodbye to my gauntlets of iron will. Brave Forge Bracer says your next weapon attack this turn gets plus one. Activate this ability only if a weapon I control has hit this turn. And now this weapon has hit. 
I will then spend the final resource on this hatchet of mind. I'm getting plus two from the blade flurry, plus three from the blade runner, plus one from hatchet of mind being the attack after hatchet of body. So this is an attack for nine. If you defend with an attack action card, destroy your arsenal. So devastatingly good. <laughs> That's what's sick about this brand new Majestic and Heavy Hitters. It's until end of turn your warrior attacks get this. Wow. Get, get, get that out of there. I'm just showing you what you can take. The art's really cool. Wow, that's so scary, but I think I think I have to take this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, heavy hitters, for printing options that are not Command and Conquer for Arsenal Disruption in Warrior and other classes like Brute. Bro. What a cool way to Bro. expand the card pool while still keeping the relevance of Command and Conquer, but also adding new shut, options. Shut up. Shut up. Thanks, uh, thanks shut guys. Up. Shut up. You shut up. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> nine damage. No blocks. Take nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go to six. Go to six. Okay. These commanding performances have been so brutal. And this one, incredibly so. I have my whole payoff, all that setup that I did is for my arsenal card. I have no way to really do anything if I just block out this nine because my arsenal is destroyed and then I just pass and give him a four card hand. I would I would love to take less damage here, but it's just, it's just not a possibility. And I already have bought into the game plan of setting up for this bet big. So ship the damage and you have no equipment it's time. It's it's time, you guys. It's time. Seismic surge. Pitch to tectonic plating. Bring that back. I'm going to activate good time chapeau. Having a good time here. <laughs> I'm going to destroy a gold. Next attack wagers a vigor and a might. Then, since it costs one less, I'm going to swing bet big and i'm going to pay to betsy so this is nine overpower i'm wagering it all gotta wager to win hopefully on hit double might double vigor and a gold gulp double might double vigor gold you're betting pretty big bet big or lose hard come down to six with me i will yeah no blocks let's do it dog no blocks what are you doing <laughs> i will take nine one two three four five six seven eight nine <laughs> I'm going to make a gold, make two vigor tokens, make two might tokens. And I am going to arsenal, pass over to you. Please don't kill me. This game is so sick. We are just throwing haymakers back and forth. Both of us now down to six. I had all action cards in my hand. I could do nothing about this bet big. It's gonna hit, It's he's gonna get all this value. So if he's gonna get all this value, might as well, you know, threaten lethal. Edge ahead. My next attack this turn gets plus three. And when this attacks a hero, you may wager an agility token with them. Commanding performance. Until end of turn, your warrior attacks get plus three. And when this is defended by one or more attack action cards, destroy a card in the defending hero's arsenal. Break a gold for double down. My next attack that wagers this turn gets plus three and overpower, no more gold. If a hero would create one or more tokens from a wager this turn, instead they create that many plus one of those tokens, meaning I'm wagering two agility tokens and then if I win it, one gold, attack you with the hatchet of body. If you block with an attack action card, destroy a card in your arsenal, I so hope that's not a sink below. <laughs> double bigger. And Simon. He's cooking, he's cooking, he's cooking. <laughs> Betsy, scanning. Okay, we are going to block. Three with a C and C and a test of strength. When I give you this, you're gonna destroy my arsenal, which is a C and C. Command and conquer effects are flying all over the place. Let's clash. I win! You win the clash. So I will make a gold. Okay. And then I'm gonna take some damage. You're taking four here. One, two, three, four, okay. down to two. Down to two, and I get to make a gold, and I get to make two agility tokens. Yay! We'll pass the turn to you. Please don't draw a spell blood. Start of my turn. <laughs> I will have a seismic that pops. I will have two vigors and two mites that pop. Two vigors float me two resources. So I'm going to activate the good time chapeau. I'm gonna destroy a gold. Next attack wagers a mite and a vigor. Can we get there? <laughs> Bet big, costs one less, so it costs three. I have two, I will pay three, and I will Betsy. We are coming in for nine, overpower, wagering, gold, might, might, vigor, vigor. My goodness. 
Let me get that 11 out of there. Block one. Mm -hmm. Block three. Blocking four. We'll take five. Go to one. He has a spill blood, you guys. He totally has it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Start a turn. My two agility tokens pop. No. You won, you get all your stuff. Two gold, two vigor, two might. Spill blood. Acts as I control, gain plus two and dominate Pitching what? this turn. Show it to me. This is going to be a hatchet of body for four with go again, thank you to the agility token. <sighs> dominate. I'm going to block one, any reactions. I mean, no, you're dead. Okay. Sink below, blocking five. Sink a card. Now that you're not dead, I will play Blade Flurry to pump this up to six. My next weapon attack this turn also gets plus two. Well, I'm blocking five, so I will take one. Go to one. I will spend my very last resource here, my friend, on a hatchet of mind. It's gonna get plus two from the Blade Flurry. It's gonna get plus two from the Spill Blood. It's gonna get plus one because Hatchet of Body was the last attack this turn, so this attack is seven with dominate. And I can only block with one card. And you guys, there is no such thing as a seven block card in this game, so. GG. GG, bro, what a game! <laughs> oh, that was lucky. Oh, Sam, you have no idea how lucky you truly were. Greetings from the editing bay. Couple things about that turn. Yes, two more damage should have been represented on the bet big, so I would not have been able to stay alive at one with only those blocks. But I did have that blade flurry in my hand, which is an attack reaction, so that does get over overpower. So I would totally still be alive and add three more life. And then on the next turn, my spill blood takes Aiden to one after his sink below and the equipment block. So it's definitely a little bit of a different end game. I have some good attack reactions left in my deck. Aiden does have Macho Grandes and Dominate left. So I only have to get one point of damage over, you know, a, a blue iron song response does it from that point forward. So I, I think it's, I think I got a good chance to still take it down from this point, but you know, great game, honest mistake, good reminder to keep track of your might tokens. And that's probably enough for me. So let's send it back to past me and past Aiden. Went down to one, knew I had to find some dominate, some overpower to win the game. And, and we drew it and we tr just like we drew it up, folks. Oh! I'm out of money, lost in the arena. It's time to go grab a sad pint. Watch Olympia run away with his freaking gold. You hate to miss the might tokens. It's it, There's so much interaction and so much to think about during a game of Flesh and Blood. It's why we like it. It does mean sometimes you can miss little things, but I promise I just missed it. I wasn't trying to shark my cousin. Betsy is so sick. <laughs> and this list is so cool. Just like the constant value and tempo that you get off of these three card hands, evasive damage, creating all these tokens. This hero is so cool. And wager mechanic, especially with these two arena battlers. I, I, I didn't initially see myself as an Olympia player. I've always wanted to play warrior, but I thought I'd be more of like a classic Dory. Dory dude, but getting to make all these gold tokens powers up your cash, and I think I used every single gold token in that game. I drew cards with them. Double down was huge to get evasive damage through, and it's free if you pay a gold. Like, and James says we get Olympia payoff in coming up. Olympia enjoyers, we up? We up? This was insanely fun. Look out for your mites. Track your tokens. Keep a good board state. We'll get them next time. Don't be like me. Be like the big boys, the heavy hitters. Keeping track of your numbers is important. What a fight in the arena. We had tokens flying around. We had powered up strikes. We had overpower. We had, we had, we had, we had, we had, we had, we had armor that just wouldn't die. Go away. It would not go away. <laughs> it was quite the game, and I believe this belongs to you. Thank you, sir. Tell us, tell the people, how do you feel and what should we know? I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel great. Are you kidding me? Got a couple, got a couple wins for the heavy hitters. The set. Here's what I. You know what I really think? I think the set is incredible. It's sick. It's so sick. I think it's so sick. I think it's so fun to play. I, I already want to build and change the decks we've already played. I'm so excited for these armories this month. I'm so excited to see how everybody plays these decks. I'm so excited for the Pro Tour next month. 
I'm just excited to keep getting W's. We got two more heroes. Very excited to have those on too. Maybe a, a familiar face mm. you might recognize. Perhaps, perhaps a rematch, someone known for playing Reinar and rolling only sixes. Really? I, I, I heard that he's the number one. Yeah, the number one roller, probably. Yes, he's probably the, the number, number one, one roller. roller. Yeah. In the game. Let's see if we can get it. We'll see if we can get him back. But until then, as you know, my name's Jacob. <laughs> and Sam, you guys made it to the end of the video, so let's talk about a giveaway. There is a box of heavy hitters with your name on it. All you have to do is go to Twitter, post a link to this video with the hashtag 3Floating, T-H-R-E-E -E, floating. Say your favorite moment from the video, tell people why they should watch it. It's heavy hitter season, my dudes. The Realm Games is bringing you that box of heavy hitters, so big shout out to them. Also, make sure you check out their website. They're running a very cool promotion for an incredible event at the Level Up Expo in Las Vegas. So if you're fans of TCGs and or superhero inspired TCGs like Alpha Clash, make sure you check out their website. Also. Thanks to Fabric. I'm, the, the, the articles that have been coming out in Heavy Hitter Season have been very helpful. I've been using I've been them quite a bit. So you should check them out too if you want to build these decks. Go ahead and check it out on Fabric.gg. And also, thanks to LSS. We love you guys. Huge thanks. And I also just have to say, huge thanks to Tecla Foundry for helping me out with Betsy. I did not know what I was doing. And you should totally check out his deck tech, which is linked in the description. And you should also make sure you check out the Card Guys' Warrior content. I was watching Josh Lau and taking a bunch of inspiration from him as well as Howling mind Scott who I just think is one of the best minds in our industry at large but also a deck building resource he's been helping me out some so I didn't listen to all of his advice and I played lead for speed instead of spoils board I'm sorry I like that card <laughs> thanks for watching we got Reinar and Victor next we'll see you next time Flesh and blood. Flesh and blood. <laughs>